Now there we'll see, look at these type of problems. If x is real, then the expression x plus 2 upon 2x squared plus 3x plus 6 takes all values in interval. Means the maximum and minimum value of this expression we are looking, correct? This will help you, you know, such some, it is also, uh, it comes like find the domain and range, in fact, sorry, range. So range is, range is maximum and minimum value, all of you know in functions. So for this function has two way it is going to be represented in exam. First is whether x is lying in this interval or find the range of this fx, fine. So how we'll start, let's say this y equals to this expression x plus 2, 2x square plus 3x plus 6, fine. Now what I'm going to do, I'll convert this y, in term, y into x, it is given, x in terms of y, correct? And since x is real, so their discriminant is going to be greater than equal to 0. And then we will find the value of x, correct? So we will start with multiply this with y. So this is 2y x square plus 3xy plus 6y minus x minus 2 equals to 0, fine? Now we collect this is quadratic in x, so we'll take x square. So what will happen? 2y. This is an x square. We took 2y. Fine. Now take x 3y minus 1. X we took 3y minus 1 and left with 6y minus 2 equals to 0. Correct? Now since x is real. I have said x is real, so what will happen? d greater than or equals to 0, the discriminant is going to be greater than or equals to 0. So b square which is 3y minus 1 square minus 4 into a into c. This should be greater than or equals to 0, fine. Now it came in inequality, now we will simplify after multiply and all, we will come to know that it is going to be 13y minus 1 into 3y minus 1 greater than equals to 0. See, once you for, for simplify all these steps, at the end you will get 13y plus 1 into 3y minus 1 greater than 0. So, the, what are the roots? So, y equals to we have minus 1 by 13 and 1 by 3. Now, we will plot into VB curve. So, this is minus 1 by 13 and this is 1 by 3. Now, this is uh, when you multiply this, there is some sign get converted. Minus it will come. So it becomes less than equals to 0. Fine. When you simplify this, there will be a minus where you have to multiply. So this inequality get flipped. So now why have this? So plus, minus, plus, we pick up. So this is less. So we will take these, these interval. Fine. So where this x, this x belongs, x belongs to minus 1 by 30 to 1 by 3 closed interval. Okay? This will lie in closed interval because it is less than equals to. Equals to is given. So the minus sign is less than part. So the interval is x belongs to minus 1 by 13 to 1 by 3. So this is going to be the answer. Find here. So in this question what we have observed that when you have to find the value of x. See I have at the end I have written y equals to minus 1 by 13 and 1 by 3. Basically, that gives you the value of x, correct? Because y is what? y is the values of x. This y is the value of this x. So this minus 1 by 13, 1 and this value gives these values of x. So that is why x belongs to minus 1 by 13 to 1 by 3 in closed interval. Find here. And this is also range also of this function. Range of this function is this. This is minimum and this is maximum value. Fine. So in such type of a problem, you can go with this method alone. Fine. Now here, we will move to some miscellaneous situation. Miscellaneous where it looks initially it is not a quadratic, but while substitution, we can get a quadratic equation. So in such type of situation, we will see. We will take one example. 9 to the power x, 4 into 3 to the power x plus 2, plus 3 to the power 5 equals to 0. 
solution set of this equation. First side, it doesn't look a quadratic, correct? So how will we make it quadratic? Because when see quadratic, it will come, then we will get the value of x. Because here it is exponential function, a to the power x. So what I can write, 3 square to the power x, can we write? And here, 4 into 3 square into 3 to the power x. We split this 3 to power x into 3 to power 2. And this is 3 to power 5 is 243 equals to g. Now what I will do, 3 to the power x, I take as a t, left. Right? Here what we can do, I put k x inside and 2 outside. Again multiply, it will give you 9 to the power x. Because power to the power makes it power multiplication. Fine? So now, this equation becomes t square minus 36t plus 243 equals to g. So now, we will get the roots t27 and 9, 27, 9, 243. So, we will go to come to this way. 3 to x is 27. That is 3 to 3. So, x equals to 3. This is same. Powers are equated. And 3 to the power x equals to 9, which is 3 square. Therefore, x equals to 2. So, the solution set will be, solution set is going to be 2 and 3. It's in set. 2 and 3. It's not an interval. It's a value of x. 2 and 3. And both will satisfy the equation. So in such type of an equation, you have to substitute something and then drag it into quadratic equation. Correct dear? This type also came in once in NDA. So you must to know how to get the solution of such equations, which can be reduced into quadratic equation. Fine dear? Now, we will see some, these are some miscellaneous problems we are doing. Fine, now we will go to the next situation. Number of solutions. Of the equation mod x square minus 3 mod x plus 2 equals to 0. Now, what we have to tell the number of solutions of this equation. How many solutions of x will lie? So, mod x square minus 3 mod x plus 2. So, what we can do? We can factorize, let's say, mod x square minus. 2 we are doing, so 2 times of mod x minus mod x plus 2, correct? Now we take mod x common, so mod x minus 2, here 1 I will take common, mod x minus 2, fine, so mod x minus 2 and mod x minus 1 equals to 0, so either mod x minus 2 0, Therefore, mod x is 2. Therefore, x is plus minus 2. Or mod x minus 1 equals to 0. Mod x equals to 1. Therefore, mod x is x is plus minus 1. So, we have 2 and 2. 4 solutions. So, x has 4 solutions. And both, all 4 solutions will satisfy this equation fine so mod x square sometimes student what they do this mod x square is nothing but x square also there the meaning is same x square and mod x square is same suppose in this question if if it comes like this way then also the number of solution is going to be 4 only suppose there is no mod and x square minus 3 mod x plus 2 is 0 it came then the number of solution again it will be 4 because x square and mod x square the meaning is same. Fine? So this way we can get the solution of such modulus type of a function. Fine dear? Now we'll see some more situation.
sum of all real roots of the equation so question is sum of all real roots of this equation correct here so now what i will do this is mod x minus 2 square mod x minus 2 minus 2 so i will take mod x minus 2 as a t right because operator and the operator ko kuch na kuch substitute karna hi padega ya to operator ko hatana padega these are two possibility only so mod x minus 2 i took t so what is going to be t square plus t minus 2 equals to 0 fine what are the roots this is 2t minus 1 so t equals to 1 and minus 2 these are the solution so now mod x minus 2 is 1 this one mod x minus 2 is 1 so what will happen x minus 2 is plus minus 1 therefore x is 3 and 1 minus 2 will go that side 2 plus 1 3 2 minus 1 1 next now mod x minus 2 is minus 2 which is not possible correct mod never gives you the negative value right so which is not possible so the number of solutions will be what 3 and 1 and what they have asked sum of all real roots so sum is going to be 3 plus 1 4 4 is the answer fine check it so question ko thoda twist karte hain to iske liye aap prepare rahenge unhone pehle roots nikalwaya aapse roots mein bhi dekhna hai ki kaun satisfy kar raha hai kaun nahi yahan pe 3 aur 1 satisfy ho rahi hai to inka sum they have asked sum is nothing but 3 plus 1 4 sum of the roots is 4 find here आइए एक और सिचुएशन देखते हैं मॉड वाले सम में थोड़ा केयरफुल रहना आपने मॉड की प्रॉपर्टी और या सब्स्टिट्यूट करके यू कैन गेट द आंसर If x square minus 2x plus sin square alpha equals to 0 then x belongs to option sa. Correct? See this question, if x square minus 2x plus sin square alpha is 0, then we have to find the value of x, where this x will belong. So now in such situation, what we do, do generally, it's a, it, this type of equation known as a transcendental equation, where algebraic and trigonometric equations are in one equation. So what we'll do, I'll take sin square alpha and rest I will send that side. So this become minus x square plus 2x fine minus x square plus 2x now dear this we know sin square alpha about sin square alpha that this is lying where this will lie between 0 to 1 correct not minus 1 because it's a square alpha so sin square alpha must be greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 1 we know in trigonometry fine so now what we can say here minus x square plus 2x sin square alpha is this is greater than or equals to 0 less than or equals to 1 can we write because sin square alpha is same like this so which means here if you multiply with minus so x square minus 2x see we multiply both sides with minus so this becomes less than or equals to 0 and x square minus 2x greater than or equals to minus 1 fine so now from here we have x into x minus 2 less than equals to 0 fine this we can write so here what will happen x belongs to where this is the roots are 0 and 2 so if you go the wavy curve so two factors so plus minus plus and less than so 0 to 2 so x belongs to 0 to 
it's a closed interval 0 to 2 closed intervals less than equals to it is and the next is here it is x minus 1 whole square can be right which is greater than 0 so x greater than 1 so what is the combined solution for both is both is going to be x belongs to 0 to 2 so final solution is x belongs to 0 to 2 so second option is the correct one go through when trigonometric function is involved then how we will proceed to solve such quadratic equation correct see sin square alpha equals to minus x square plus 2 then we know that nature of sin square alpha which is lying between this and this equals to this and then we have uh, take inequality part multiply with minus then either or we get and we get the combined solution of x which is 0 to 2 where this is going x greater than 1 but here 0 to 2 the common solution becomes 0 to 2 fine now there at the end we will have in quadratic equation the problems are coming common roots fine those are simple not so difficult now we will see common roots we don't have any theorem based on common roots common roots is just this root will satisfy both the equation and then we have to find the missing one so we will see some problems based on common roots Say have one situation, if the equation x square minus ax plus b equals to 0 and x square 0 have a common root. Then these are the options. These are four options. When these two equations have common root, then which condition it is going to be satisfied? Fine. So let's say we'll take some root alpha, which is common to both the equation. So what will alpha will do? Alpha will satisfy both the equation. So let alpha be common root. Correct? So alpha will satisfy both the equation. So this is this. And this is going to be this. So we have these two equations. Now the coefficient of alpha square is same and 1 1. So we will subtract this. So that alpha square get cancelled and alpha will get. Once alpha we will get, we will put into any of the equation, we will get the relation. Fine? So when you subtract this, so what will happen? Alpha is b mi minus b minus a and here it will be minus a minus b. Correct? These two may go that side. So alpha becomes what? 1. Correct? Since alpha is 1, now this alpha will put into any of the equation here, here, or here. So if you put 1 alpha here, so what will happen? Don't put here, here it is x. Alpha put here. So 1 minus a plus b is 0. So a minus b came 1. Fine? a minus b is 1. This is the correct answer. So this is what we do in common roots. Right? That root satisfy both the equation and then get the value of alpha and alpha again you put into the equation. You will get the relation between a and b. Right? So these are problems based on common roots. Here. So for this, this based on this uh, common roots we will finish this quadratic equation correct now we will have couple of questions which you all of you have to solve right now correct solve kijiye or homework mein jo kuch sums diye hain usko bhi practice kijiye theek hai and uh, sare doubts doubts pucha kijiye i don't think koi bacche to doubt dekhte bhi nahi hai question or homework bhi nahi dekhte hain do it couple of students are sincerely they are doing but my request all of you have taken admission in this course so all of you participate correct 
वंस वी आर गिविंग प्रॉब्लम्स ऑल ऑफ यू पार्टिसिपेट टू सॉल्व दोज क्वेश्चन ठीक है विद दिस नोट आई एम गोइंग टू स्टॉप टू डेज लेक्चर एंड वी विल स्टार्ट सॉल्विंग प्रॉब्लम्स फाइन डेयर थैंक यू वेरी मच टेक केयर ऑल ऑफ यूर सेल्फ टेक